See, now the one thing I got to give Pac credit for is the fact that my man never discriminated against anybody. Who remembers the quote that I quoted a while back? And they say, it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind doing all the hair. You know what I'm saying? I had to censor myself because it's too early in the video. Being that this is only the intro. Speaking of which, intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV. Uh, and yeah, what you're about to watch is another Art of Dialogue uh, reaction. And uh, Art of Dialogue has been dating, dating, excuse me, let me correct myself. Art of Dialogue has been interviewing, rather, um, this woman who apparently has um, dated uh, Tupac at one point. I believe this was during a time when Tupac was going to that, uh, that school, that performing arts uh, school. Um, where he learned um, how to write poetry and what have you. Um, I could be mistaken. Could be just a regular high school. Be in any event, um, this girl who uh, knew Tupac gives, of course, her take, her side, uh, her perspective of what she's known of Tupac based on the things that she's experienced uh, with him um, or when just hanging around uh, Tupac. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Uh, that is titled Tupac dated a lot of white girls in high school. He didn't care about race That is for sure true because um, Speaking of a white woman that Tupac has dated at one point um, When he was already established as you know, one of the, the uh, all-time greatest uh, rap stars of all time at least in my opinion uh, Tupac at one point did date Madonna. Madonna has also talked about um, her time dating Tupac and whatnot, but uh, so yeah, so that much is very much true. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into Heather's story. But I like it to hear here. Shout out to Art of Dialogue, by the way. Make sure y'all go check them out if you're uh, interested in hearing uh, stories about Tupac. If you're a Tupac fan, definitely check out Art of Dialogue's channel. Anyway, it's so amazing to me, like how huge he has become like the fact that there's a museum on him now and and that there's college courses taught about him i mean that is just mind-blowing that you know the guy i went dude i mean i didn't know there was college courses on tupac i mean shoot that's a college course i can easily ace i mean i'm just saying the prom with is now a major icon i tend to share it often the, the fact that I went to prom with him, with people I meet nowadays, because mm -hmm. just seeing their reaction is so much fun because people, people, first of all, they don't believe me, you know? I mean, they're like, oh yeah, right. You went to prom with two. Yo, I gotta say, man, <clears throat> between um, the high school picture and how Heather looks now, I have to say she, she's aging very, very well. She took, you can tell she takes very good care of herself, man. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> um, but I'm like, yeah, you don't have to believe me. That's fine. But it's the truth. Um, but it, I mean, it, it's it's a really, really, really cool thing. I mean, we all kind of we, we knew some somebody was going to become famous from a group of us because we were at a school for the arts. Right. And there are a lot of really talented people. We knew we were going to have some celebrities among us. But to have him go as far as he did and continues to go after he's passed away is just incredible. And I feel really amazing and blessed to have known him. He She's definitely one of the lucky few women that, that you know, got to know uh, Tupac, man. That's for sure. Um, you know, how, how many, you know, girls in her position can, can, can say that? Wrote a lot of letters, which was interesting, you know, because when he would start dating somebody, he'd always give them a ton of letters. My friend Kathy got a ton of letters. I think she ended up um, selling them at an auction. But, um, but yeah, she, like, I mean, he was very expressive about everything. Like he, um, which I don't know if I agree with. I mean, those, th those are personal letters from Pac, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm built differently, but if I knew someone, right, that would later become, that later um, became a celebrity, right. And they wrote me all kinds of letters. I would not sell those letters for personal gain, for financial gain.
But then again, I don't know the her that person's situation. Maybe they had to. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, so it may, I could be jumping the shark. I could be jumping the gun. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I could be displaying poor judgment towards a person. But I'm just saying, if 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 I can help it, I will not sell the letters unless I absolutely need to. And in all fairness, that could be the case for this person. Um, but again, if I don't need to, then I wouldn't do it. You know, because again, because it sounds like you're using the person's name and their fame. You know what I mean to benefit you, unless there was some kind of deal made. I'm sure it's possible there could be a deal made. Like, hey, if you need to, you know what I'm saying, to help get you back on your feet. Because Pac, as we all know, very generous person. He takes care of his friends. He takes care of his family. I'm sure he say, hey, if you ever need to, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying to get you on your feet. Anyway, um. I was dating um, this guy, Bernard, and for a little while, and in my yearbook, he wrote something really funny about that, like, um, like, oh, I hope things work out with you and Bernard, and whatever you do, use protection. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just funny things like that. He's so expressive and always writing everything down. So. Speaking of Tupac writing letters, right, did you see the letter that he wrote Madonna? I heard a little bit about it, but I don't know too much about it. Yeah. Yeah, it went viral, man. It was a big deal. He actually wrote okay. her a letter breaking up with her because she was white. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that wasn't, I mean, in high school, the, he didn't really care if somebody was white, you know. He dated a lot of white girls in high school. Right, right. And I do recall reading an interview that you did speaking about that. And that's how I found out about you. Um, yeah, you made a comment saying that Tupac, he never looked at race when dating females. Can you elaborate on that? Well, I mean, I think a lot of it was, um, you know, I think he was sort of told to personify something by the music business. I mean, that's sort of the, what I've heard from people who knew him for a while and, um, and he had to kind of act the part, you know, I mean, uh, but, and then maybe eventually in, shifted into it. I don't know. But, um, but that's not really who he was in high school. In high school, he was just, you know, he loved everybody. And there was no black. There was no white. Like I said, I mean, we just didn't. Again, as quoted by Tupac himself, and they say, it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind doing all the killing here. I'm not saying that that, that means that he was uh, racist against his own people. No, Pac looked at everybody equally, you know what I'm saying? And he wasn't afraid to hold members of his own community accountable for their actions because he understands, hey, look, we're all individuals at the end of the day and we all need to be held accountable for our actions, not for the actions of others, but for our own actions. Let's get back into it. We didn't think about that stuff in high school. I mean my my junior prom date was uh and that's probably because nobody made a big deal about race back then and in their in their neck of the woods probably that's and that's probably why it never came to mind the only reason it's such a a big issue now is because people won't stop talking about it it's like what morgan freeman said in that very famous um interview he did for for cnn you want racism to go away stop talking about it leave it alone you know Stop calling each other by, stop calling people by their skin tone, you know? Stop calling a white person a white person. Stop calling a black person a black person. You know what I'm saying? Start, because we all have names. There's a reason why we all have names. So start referring to people by their names. You know what I'm saying? And if there's, you don't know the person by that name, well, just say, oh, you know, it's a man or it's a woman, you know what I mean? Or whatever the case you know what I mean? That did this or that or said this or that, you know? It doesn't have to be a particular skin tone or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Stop talking in such a way, then that stuff goes away, you know? Anyway. Uh, a black gay guy, you know? So that's, I mean, it just didn't, that's not what we thought about. It wasn't about color or any of that. It was just, who are you as a person? Are you a good person? That's, and that's how it should be. That's it. Yep. All the all the uh, the girls liked him. I mean, he had, like I said, he had a lot of different girlfriends. Um, 
he was just really well liked, you know, like all the different groups at school and just he was just a really like a charismatic, popular guy. He was very nice to females, very nice. And I mean, always, I mean, he would express things like he was just always very loving and always expressing things in, in words and he would write it down. I mean, he would write, he wrote the most amazing love letters to my friend Kathy. And um, I think they're actually like out in public somewhere now. Um, but yeah, like he would just, he would talk and he was really concerned about, you know, with me, with, um, with this other guy um, that I was dating at the time. And he was like, you know, I hope he's treating you well. And you know, he was just really concerned, empathetic guy and was great to women. All right, y'all. So that was uh, Heather G um, being interviewed by, of course, Art of Dialogue. This was their video. Tupac dated a lot of girls, a lot of white girls, excuse me, in high school. He didn't care about race. And I am definitely mashing the like button on this. You know what I'm saying? To show love and support to Art of Dialogue. And also because, hey, I, I love what uh, what this lady had, had to say in her interview. You know what I'm saying? See, look, even even guys like Pac didn't even care about race, especially whether whether it came to dating or whatever. You know what I mean? Pac was an equal equal opportunist. You know what I'm saying? It didn't matter to him who you are, what you look like. The what what matters most is your character, who you are as a human being at the end of the day, and that's how it should be. If Tupac can teach us that, if he can understand that, right, and can teach us that, then why can't we learn that? Someone please make that make sense to me. But anyways, y'all, feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Uh, we'll definitely do some more Art of Dialogue uh, reactions. Um, I definitely want to do more uh, skinned reactions as well. And then we still got to look into some more of uh, Kim Dracula. My bad. I almost, I almost blanked on their name. Um, so my bad for that. But uh, yeah, we, we definitely got, got to hit up all those and bring all those. Uh, to the forefront so yeah definitely look, tune in uh, stay tuned in and uh look forward to those reactions you uh, know but until then y'all y'all know the deal like comment share and of course subscribe shout out to everyone that is subscribing and those who have been subscribed showing support to your boy that really means the world don't forget we also got merch and shout out to everyone who's been buying the merch i do have some christmas designs um christmas design ideas i should say um, that I need to uh, start working on for my Christmas merch because you know we're about halfway through November um, so yeah definitely look forward to that as well like I said I will officially make the announcement once I officially launch um, the holiday merch so definitely look forward to that but until then y'all I think I nailed everything so with all that being said it is your boy Jason JV and y'all take care have a blessed one I catch y'all next one peace Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Patrick. I'm happy to be doing it on the street. Who's saying such a thing? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!